In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use a dot product node in Blender. Here is a simple scene with a sphere and a plane. The sphere is using a mixed set of glass and transparent nodes. This is how the node transfers the light without the dot product node. Here are my sky texture settings. Since the material is glass based, the shadow's color is similar to the material's primary color. The sunlight completely penetrates the mesh and becomes visible on the ground. Here are the full nodes, and I'll zoom in shortly. This is a math node. Dot product is a vector math node. Here is the result after applying the dot product node. By using this feature, we can create a great looking glass material based render scenes. Let's create a cube and turn it into a tentacle shaped mesh by extruding the top face. Shift select the sphere and control P to parent. Let's remove the sphere's subsurf modifier and increase the tentacle mesh's size. Please use the same material for the tentacle mesh. If we have stacked meshes like the one we're using now, we won't be able to fully access the result of the dot product node.
Let's make instances real after pressing Ctrl, A, and remove a bunch of tentacle meshes. That's better, but we need to remove more meshes. We'll get the best looking result when we don't have meshes stacking before the sunlight. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.